go and locate that this is the right land to build. Is it not? So labor controls other factors of production. Then we'll look at, after looking at the characteristics, we'll look at importance of labor. We'll look at what? Importance of labor. What are the importance of labor? Number one, labor provides personnel. Provision of what? Personnel. Is the labor that provides the human beings that work, is it not? It influences other factors of production. Labor controls, controls and influences other factors of production. That's what it does. Labor controls and influences other factors of production. Production of goods and services. It is labor that do what? Do the actual production of goods and services. If you have your land and your materials, without labor there will be no production. Operation of machines. It is labor that do what? Operate the machines that you have. Is that clear? It's the labor that operates the machine. Now we look at the third factor of production. And the third factor of production is what? Capital. What is capital? What is capital? Capital is the third factor of production. And it's defined as the man-made assets. Capital is the man-made assets used in production. So capital is not just money, but all the assets. Capital is not just money, but all the man-made assets that are used in production. In other words, capital refers to man-made wealth. It is, it is the man-made wealth and goods so wealth now includes money and goods used to produce other goods and services so you see that capital could also be said to be goods and wealth and money that you use in producing other goods and services it may also be designed as a stock of previous wealth invested in order to produce future wealth. Examples of capital include physical cash. Examples of capital include what? Number one, physical cash. What is physical cash? Money. Is it not? Physical cash, which is money. But money is not the only capital that we have. We have money. We have cutlass. Things like cutlass. The cutlass you use in farming, the hoe, all of them are capital. Then we have what we call the machine. All those machines that you use in soap production, they are your capitals. Also, the buildings. The building is not the land, it is the capital. Buildings, the building for your factory. Then the motor vehicle. The motor you drive to work. Is your capital raw material semi-finished goods also we have raw material is also part of your capital not mineral resources so but other raw material you use in working they are your capital semi-finished goods is also capital semi-finished goods is also a capital semi-finished goods then we'll talk about tools and other equipment all the tools you use in work, tools, all the other equipment you use in work, and all of them are classified under capital. So all of these things that you use in the world, production of goods and services, they are known as what? Capital. And the reward for capital is interest. The reward for 
capital is what? Interest. Very, very important. The reward for capital is interest.